Just joining us, we'll welcome this is Breakfast Central on News Central. We are Africa first, and that's what we do, bringing you the stories um, from the continent of Africa. Well, it's time now to take a look at what we have from the world of business, and let's talk business right away. The Central Bank of Nigeria is definitely in the news, and this has got to do with the reduction of ATM withdrawal charges into bank transfer fees as it issues a downward review of charges for electronic banking transactions in its revised guidelines to charges by banks, other financial institutions, OFIs and non-bank financial institutions. Now, the CBN stated that the review was in response to further evolution in the financial industry in the last few years. The change will see charges on withdrawals from ATMs being reduced from 65 Naira to 35 Naira after the third withdrawal within the same month. Now, this is a viral document. This is a document, a policy document that was brought out in 2019 from CBN, where they also cut interbank transfers to maximum of 50 Naira per, per transaction from 300 Naira. Now, to bring clarity to this development, we have joining us this morning Mokhtar Mohammed. He is the CEO of Asha Dynamic Solutions. Many thanks for joining the program, Mokhtar. Would you say that these charges, which were put out in 2019 by CBN policy document. Would you say these charges influence or even urge more foreign investment into Nigeria? Good morning. Uh, when you talk about foreign investment, uh, we, we're not looking at those charges. I think those charges were meant to make a financial inclusion to Nigerians, especially those in the rural area. They're making the dynamics of instead of going to the bank every time, then you just need to do your transaction. Ease of disconcerting the bank, I think that's what they said. And then making a lot of Nigerians comes into those brackets. And that's why they introduced the money agent, the ATM, the POS, and uh, also trying to use FinTech, also licensing most major telecommunication companies also to be involved in transactions like that. When you right, talk let's... about the foreign invest investors, it's a different ballgame ball all in that. They are looking at a holistic picture in terms of especially the exchange rate. All right, uh, Mukhtar, you'd agree with me that this um, was actually released earlier by the CBN. And uh, just as a fact check, the cable.ng has gone ahead to make a fact check to show that uh, uh, this, which was released by the CBN and was supposed to be in, uh, in, uh, in accordance with what the banks were to carry out, hasn't been put in place up until now. Although the stories did come up earlier this week, especially from the weekend on Sunday and all through from yesterday, but let's look at this fact. For the fact that um, this statement had been released by the CBN um, and there are no effective uh, changes made yet, what, what, what does this show? You see, when you talk to the bankers, uh, in, this, in this sector, they tell you a lot of things that the CBN are not telling you. They will tell you that it has to do also with the infrastructure and the charges that they also um, get involved to deal with this infrastructure. They will tell you for a single charge of ATM, it costs them like 70 naira for every charge for, for it to be implemented from, from the end point to the behind the scene point. So um, I think what we do in Nigeria, sometimes we make policies and we don't think through it. And then those policies doesn't see the light of day and we are not able to regulate those policies. Banks are in, in the business of uh, making money for their shareholders. So no bank will be going into losses. Remember that they even had issue with the telecom and companies that were trying to hike the, the, the exchange rate. It took the, inter I mean, uh, hike the fee. It took the intervention of the NCC and the CBN and the banks to come to a, a, a certain rate. So um, it's a challenge that the CBN will need to address. But to address those challenges, you need those infrastructure. You're going to create a one-off infrastructure that all the banking platforms are going to share. So that will bring down the cost of you want each individual to build up his own track and um, infrastructure to see, make sure this transaction goes good. So it's a lot. It's a lot of work on the part of the banks and also the CBN and the NCC also to make this happen. And I think those are the work that have not been done. Maybe yeah. that's why we are not seeing a reflection. Now, Mokta, you talked yeah. about um, creating uh, platforms or implement implementing certain structures that should be put in place. But who should Nigerians hold responsible? Who should you and I hold responsible for this confusion in the financial sector? The regulators, you don't need to go far. If I have a problem, if the regulator is coming in with the policy and it's not working, then it's the regulators because they are the ones that are supposed to regulate and make sure this policy comes to play. And so unless, it, and remember we have the banking committee, the CBN with the bankers committee meet 
every month to review the uh, uh, um, um, inflation rate, other economic status, or come up with new strategy on the economy, especially in terms of uh, monetary policy. And they've not let me speak to address this issue. So it shows that uh, if I have to address it, I have to put the blame totally on the regulators. And when I talk about the regulators, the CBN. All right, electronic banking seems to be um, uh, one of the major aspects where the economy is thriving from, especially for banks. Uh, just yesterday in the papers, it was mentioned that uh, the banks made over 200 and something trillion uh, naira in the space of uh, people using their digital banking, electronic banking and the likes. Um, uh, does the CBN look at ensuring that policies like these and many more policies would also not just serve to protect um, uh, the people who actually use these platforms, but also serve to protect uh, the monies that are being uh, invested as well? I, I think CBN generally, they are not interested in the, the, the shareholders. They always tell you that uh, that is the responsibility of the executive of the bank or the management team of the bank. CBM, in short, are always responsible for the customers. When you talk about the shareholders, then we begin to look at the Security and Exchange Commission. Those are the ones that definitely deal with the shareholder or the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Um, so for when it comes, especially with those co if those companies are listed, the stock is still. But if they are not listed and they are private equity, then it has to do with the Security and Exchange Commission. So once you see um, these issues not being addressed, um, then the CBN totally deals with the customer. That's why it's worrisome that these charges actually goes to the customers and why are they not really coming up, um, climbing down on the bank to implement this. For the shareholders, I, I think they are happy with it because like you said, one point something trillion. Some of those um, money will find their way into those shareholders of this company, and uh, even the management team of this company will seek it as a, an achievement. So it's left for the CBN. It's just like where you have the consumer protection agency uh, to protect every uh, consumer in terms of any goods and services. When it comes to the banking services, the CBN it should be a consumer protection agency, and that's why they have a, a, a dex to deal with any complaint. So. I think for, for now, we shouldn't think far off. I think the CBN have not lived up to their responsibility. Wow. Yeah. Really interesting to get your perspective on this. Thank you so much, Mokta Mohammed, CEO, Asher Dynamic Solution. Thank you for coming on the program. My pleasure.